The sheet metal face feature is considered to be the most fundamental of all sheet metal features. Sheet metal faces are simply extruded features with a thickness depth applied. When creating a sheet metal face feature, you first create a closed profile sketch and then tell Inventor to add thickness to the sketch profile in order to create the face. Let me show you. Here I have a new sheet metal template open and I'll start by creating a new sketch on the XZ plane. Because the face tool requires a closed profile sketch, I'll create a two-point center rectangle using the origin as the center point. I'll dimension this rectangle to 6 by 4 inches. With the sketch fully defined, I'll click the green check to finish the sketch. Next, I'll choose a sheet metal default for this part. I'll click the icon here, and in the Sheet Metal Defaults dialog box, I'll set the sheet metal rule to 16GA316SS, created in an earlier lesson. I'll click OK and the sheet metal rules are applied. With the closed profile sketch created and sheet metal rules set, I'll launch the face command. I can do this from either the sheet metal ribbon here or from the right-click marking menu. When I select it, the face command window appears. If there is only one closed profile in the sketch, like I have here, it's automatically selected and a preview is shown in the graphics area. If the direction of the extrusion is going in the wrong direction, you can toggle the offset icon to flip the extrusion direction along the plane. Because this is a base feature, many of the options are not yet available in this face window. As you add more geometry to this sheet metal part, more of these options will become available to you, but we'll cover those a bit later on. You'll notice that there's no option here to specify thickness of the material. That's because this value is driven by the sheet metal defaults specified earlier. The tabs here for Unfold Options and Bend show some additional options that were specified in the sheet metal defaults as well. The Unfold tab is where the Unfold rule can be set. This will determine how the active part unfolds. And the Bend tab will specify how Inventor creates bends, including relief shape, width, depth, remnant, and bend transition. In a later lesson, I'll discuss these tabs and corresponding options in detail. For now, I'll go ahead and click OK, and the face base feature is created, and you can see the face base feature added to the browser. Next, I'll add another face to this sheet metal part by first creating a new sketch on this edge face. I'll sketch a two-point rectangle coincident to the lower horizontal line, and add some dimensions to fully constrain the sketch. I'll activate the face command once more, and you'll notice I have a new option here for edge selection. I'll select the sketch region and use this icon to select the lower edge where I'd like the sheet metal bend to be located. I'll click OK and the face is added with a bend to connect to the base face. Now I'd like to create another face feature but this time, I won't connect the sketch to the sheet metal part. I'll start a new sketch on this edge face, but this time, I'll sketch a trapezoid in space, centered on this face.
with the sketch completed, I'll select an edge of the sketch and click the Create Face icon from the pop-up context menu. This face command allows you to project a face to meet the edge using these two icons here. You can extend bend a line to side face or extend perpendicular to a side face. To do this, I'll first select the edge I'd like to extend to using the Select Edge icon. The default extend type is set to Extend Bend Perpendicular, so I'll click OK, and you can see the face and bend created extending perpendicular from the sketch to the edge I selected. To show you the other option, I'll make an edit to this face, and this time select the option to Extend Bend Align to Side Faces, and then click OK. This creates a face that extends the trapezoid edges to the selected edge. When creating sheet metal faces, remember that you can create a bend between a new face and an existing face. Faces will be extended and trimmed automatically to create the bend.